the surgery involves going in through the skull into the brain and removing the part of the tumor that is in the brain itself. Generally these tumors begin as a, a lump and then they have portions of it that invade into the surrounding brain. The portion of the tumor that grows as a lump is the part that can be removed. The part that's invading into the brain is the part that has to be left behind for chemotherapy and radiation. Like in real estate, it's all about location and depending on where the brain tumor is located will dictate what kind of risks are involved. And in the senator's case, his tumor is in the left parietal area. The left side of the brain controls the right side of the body. The right side of the brain controls the left side of the body. The left parietal lobe is involved with functions such as calculations, and it is very near the speech area, as well as the motor areas, meaning the parts of the brain that cause movement on the right side of the body. All of these functions are at risk in any kind of surgery. So when you go in to remove the tumor, you run the risk of potential damage to those functions in the brain. After the surgery, the first night is usually spent in the intensive care unit. If the patient is doing well the next morning, they're usually returned to a regular room and the goal is to try and get them up and walking and talking as soon as possible. Usually, in most patients with this kind of surgery, by the first day they're able to walk and talk and eat normally. How long they remain in the hospital depends on how their balance is and how their other neurological function is. If they're functioning well, they can be home in a matter of a few days and return to a fairly normal lifestyle um, given the, the limitations of, of what they've had with, this, with that kind of surgery.